Hey everyone, for today's video I wanted to show you guys how to enhance or change someone's facial features if you need to for, for whatever reason. For anyone curious if you want to use it on something else, um, it's your own personal preference and again this is just a tutorial. So the first thing that I'm going to do is duplicate the background layer. This is just something that I do because I'm really paranoid and I just like to have a backup. I always like to come prepared. So we are going to go to filter and liquify. So this window is going to come up and as you can see, you're going to have a panel here. This is a warp tool. You have a pucker tool, bloat tool. These are all going to do different things. So for instance, if you want to make a no smaller, what I would do is use the pucker tool. And it, what it does is it just brings in that entire area. As you can see, as I'm pressing, it's making it smaller. One thing is don't do too much, like don't do this. I mean, you don't want to do too much. If you want to make any changes, make subtle changes, in my opinion. Um, I think the, the slight pucker that I did looks pretty good, so I'm not touching that anymore. Um, the next thing, let's say you want to make lips bigger or smaller. Again, pucker tool, if you want to make uh, the lips smaller, or the bloat tool, which is right here, if you wanted to make lips bigger. So I'm going to simply just, I'm literally just clicking once. Very, something very slight. And there it is. I mean, if you're using a tablet like me, just pressing once would do the trick. And, and I would probably use this tool as well um, on the eyes. But one thing is that it does, it could warp the pixels, which I wouldn't recommend it. Like you'll ha end up having a blurry section where it is clear after you do this. So you want to just be careful. I'm just pressing, see like after you do that, it comes, becomes a little bl blurry. So you want to be careful. Um, I'm showing you this for example purposes only. I'm clicking once in the middle of her eye and I'm making sure not to do it too much. Some people use a selection tool and make eyes bigger. I've never done this before. I've seen it done but just a suggestion and uh, you can use the warp tool as well to change things like a jawline so if I make that a little bit bigger you can kind of make her face different you know I don't again I don't really do this but I think if someone's curious they want to use on a school project or whatever else um, this is how you do it so using the warp tool you can kind of warp face shapes you can make the hair bigger, like, like so. I'm pulling your hair up. Now she's looking like a beauty pageant queen. Okay. okay. And honestly, this would really be the extent of the retouching that I would say is that looks pretty natural. But, you know, you still change stuff, so... So I'm going to press OK and show you guys those changes. This is before and this is after. And I'll show you guys a little bit closer. Again, I'm just showing you guys an example if you wanted to learn how to do this. I hope this was helpful in some way. Thank you guys for watching.